How to get a second passport, easy and free. Do you need a second passport? While it is possible, it's not always easy and straightforward. There are many options and tips on how to get a second passport. Many of them are not practical. They can be cumbersome. Hence, scammers capitalize on that challenge to do what they know how to do best to people who are desperate to get that second passport. Meanwhile, I can tell you for free that you can get a second passport at no formal cost, and it is easy. And you know what? You can even get paid for getting a second passport if you tow the right path. What is a second passport? By the way, what do we mean by a second passport? It simply refers to dual citizenship. Therefore, what I'm about to tell you here is how to be a dual citizen, a citizen of two countries. Once you become a citizen of a country, you are eligible to have a passport of that country. Hence, you have got a second passport. But how can you be a citizen of a second country without forfeiting the citizenship of your country? Note at this junction that some countries, such as Singapore, forbid their citizens from obtaining citizenship of any other country. Some countries hold that you renounce the citizenship of their countries once you obtain another citizenship. In another instance, being a citizen of certain countries disqualifies you from being granted citizenship of certain other countries. These pertinent facts must be clear on your mind as you consider how to get a second passport. If you find yourself in any of the countries with such restrictive conditions, get the tips presented here well before you proceed with the process. How to get a second passport Looking at the world situation from country to country and as a whole, we found four major ways through which anyone can get a second passport and become a citizen of another country. Ancestry Factor this is by all indications the easiest way to get a second passport. This is obtainable if any of your ancestors come from a particular country you desire its passport. A good legal practitioner may help you establish your eligibility for citizenship of that country if you can prove that one of your parents, grandparents, or even great-grandparents come from that country. Getting a second passport under that circumstance is almost free and it takes the shortest possible time. This is what you must consider first if you are interested in getting a second passport. Some of the famous countries people are dying to have their passport and that are offering a second one based on the ancestry factors are Armenia, England, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Ireland, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, and Portugal. You have to check the requirement for eligibility from country to country. In all cases, anyone who seeks to obtain a second passport based on ancestry citizenship will have to prove an uninterrupted lineage between himself and the ancestor who has the citizenship. This often means that none of the ancestors must have renounced or forfeited the citizenship before automatically passing it on to the next generation. Time Factor If you have lived in a country long enough, you may be eligible for the passport of the country if you apply for citizenship by naturalization. This is the practice in almost all countries. You will be required to have become a legal resident for a number of years and maintain that residency. Thereafter, you can apply for citizenship and automatically the country's passport. Take note though that this is subjected to serious conditions. To count on the time factor in obtaining citizenship, for instance, you must maintain that residency with a crime-free record. You must not have been fined for any minor civil offense during that period you must be able to prove your positive contribution to the country during the time you've obtained legal residency. Your transaction and tax records must also show that you are an asset to the state. That's why some countries are being accused of making things difficult for foreigners to have permanent residency and subsequently citizenship. You also note that the statutes guiding residency and citizenship change frequently. Sometimes the laws of demand and supply and current government policies play big roles. Therefore, you must pay attention to the current policy of your right country and act when it is favorable. Don't be shocked, however, when those things change with a change of government. Money Factor This is another fast but not a cheap way to get a second passport. More and more countries are keying into offering citizenship by investment. That means they want your money and give you their passport. So you can buy a second passport and citizenship legitimately. This is also known as economic citizenship. The Citizenship by Investment CBI, or Citizen by Investment Program CIP, comes in two forms, depending on the country. In some countries, if you are buoyant enough, you can make an outright one-time donation to the government and take advantage of Citizenship by Investment Program. 
In other countries, you will need to make an actual investment up to a certain amount of money in property, government bonds, or other stipulated businesses to become a member of that country and acquire a second passport. Even if you can afford it, you will still need to consider how to get a second passport through other available options. And for the option of citizenship by investment, carefully consider the requirements and benefits for the specific country you want its passport. The main aim of the countries with citizenship by investment programs is to have people who will big money into their economy and help them develop their infrastructures. Some of the countries that have the best program in offering citizenship by investment are St. Lucia, Cyprus, St. Kitts and Nevis, Grenada, Montenegro, Bulgaria, and Vanuatu. There are some that allow citizenship by investment they grant to cover family and children. Others require you to stay for a number of years in their country, while some don't bother if you return to your country a day after you got the citizenship by investment. Processing time for the application in some countries is as short as two months. I specified earlier that you can even get paid for it if you know how to get a passport easily and freely. Citizen by Investment program offers you the opportunity. Look at it this way. If you invest in real estate or buy an overpriced government bond for $500,000 due to the accumulation of simple interest, the value of your investment will increase. In some countries, you're not compelled to retain your investment before you can keep your citizenship. So you can sell off your investment at a higher rate. Even before you sell it, or even if you'll never sell it, you'll continue to get paid by whoever is using your investment in real estate. Flexibility Factor This is how to get a second passport if you don't want to remain in the country for too long, you have not stayed long enough, or you're not rich enough to buy it. The Flexibility Factor is a way to become a citizen without following any laid-down regulation. These are unconventional ways of getting a second passport. If you're flexible, and you wish to remain so, some countries may issue a second passport for you, thereby giving you dual citizenship if the country or if a citizen of that country stands to gain something under the arrangement. An example of that is when you give birth in a foreign country. Many countries automatically activate the principle called jus soli for any child that is born in their country. By the same token, the parents of such children can be given a second passport if they are willing to live in that country for a specified period. The same rule applies to those who are legal guardians of citizens of their countries. If you adopt a childless citizen of such a country and you're a legal resident, the government may offer you a second passport as a citizen of that country. Another example of how to get a second passport by flexible option is through marriage. If you marry a citizen of another country, the country is likely to lower the standard for you if you apply for their citizenship. In most cases, you will have to live in the country to be issued the passport of that country. You may also need to establish the ancestral, naturalized, and economic citizenship of a country before you apply for a second passport through your marriage. How to get a second passport through religion is easy. In some religious state, accepting the religion of that state may be enough reason for a government to offer you the country's citizenship. For instance, in Israel, if you convert to Judaism and declare that you are a Jew, you would get an Israeli passport. Why? The country's law of return provides that all Jews and any individual Jewish ancestry can acquire Israeli residency and citizenship. An Israeli is defined as a person having at least one Jewish ancestor. If you excel professionally in sports or entertainment, and you wish to represent the country you're based in an international sporting fiesta, the government may grant you the citizenship of that country. The same happens in the cases of highly skilled doctors, engineers, and economists. Granting citizenship in this regard is at the discretion of the current government and its need. They generally make it easier to become residents and citizens when they need something the applicant can offer, such as money or skill. The same request by someone possessing the same thing may be rejected when the need is no longer there. One of the options discussed here should help you when next you're considering how to get a second passport. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification bell.